get this step in HSC standard maths and say goodbye to four marks instantly. What a lot of students do when they see these problems is they panic, they freeze, and they're like, I don't know how to do z-score probability questions. If they've never seen something before, they just leave it blank. If you see a normal distribution question or a z-score question, write the z-score formula. I guarantee you will get a mark, guarantee. So here's how I would approach it. Z equals to score minus mean over standard deviation. Sub this in, so our score is 11.93 minus the mean, which is 10. 0.4 over 1.15 and that equals to 1.33. Now we can associate this z score with our probability table. In the probability table the z prob of 1.33 is 0.9082 right and this correlation means that from this point here to z score of 1.3 lies 90.82 percent of scores. So 90.82 percent of scores lie between the end and this point here because it's in this range. After that, we're just gonna finish off the question. This is the corresponding score for 11.93. How much would weigh more than that? If 90.82% are in here, how much are gonna weigh more than this? You can say percent more equals to 100 minus 90.82. That equals to 9.18. And then we're not finished. In 400 koalas, how many would expect to weigh more? Expected equals 400 times 9.18%. And that equals 36.72. So then you'd say, you know, therefore 36 koalas more than the 11.93. So remember, when you see z-score questions, write the z-score formula and sub in. Find the z-score at least and see what you can do from there. Save this video for your exams. If you want my complete HSC math standard system, more than four hours of proven strategies, neuroscience-based learning methods, and step-by-step -step HSC math standard topic breakdowns, just DM me the word blueprint and I'll send it over completely for free.